Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest. So what do you do when you're bored with your existing operating system or desktop? Well, in Linux you've got a lot of choice, so you move on to something else. Uh, in this case, I uh, switched over to Manjaro 1610 and got a little different with the Deepin desktop environment. So I uh, was trucking along, getting things set up, and had a system update of about 500 megs. And after the update, uh, did a system reboot came back in and noticed that lo and behold I was running deep in desktop 15.4 now I didn't even know that 15.4 was on the horizon so I just want to share what I've seen in way of changes um, basically they're cosmetic changes within the control panel and I haven't found changes in other places uh, so we're going to jump right over to the control panel now what you'll see here again cosmetically there are a lot of changes um, I'm a little mixed uh, as far as the look. I think in some areas it does look more professional. Uh, but this is what you'll see launching the control panel. And uh, typically you will have your weather showing up here. I've turned that off. And you'll also see system notifications if you have any there. So uh, again, you'll see a nice row of icons showing your location and your weather. Uh, we have the clock here up top. We have volume slider here as well as brightness slider and then an icon for the main settings now this is where things start to look um, really different uh, you'll see it's a flatter look as opposed to 15.3 you still have the categories and this is where again I guess I'm a little mixed here in the way things look so for example if we go to default applications you see a nice wide long list of all of the system applications so you actually see a little more in this layout than you did in the previous also under theme that's where it shows up very well uh, you'll notice that you can see a larger header here under the uh, for the uh, window theme as well as the icons now I've added the uh, Sardi arc set of icons but uh, so you'll see those here but one thing I want to point out is and this is the deep and default is that you see more of the icon set uh, larger icons as well as you did in 15.3 so uh, I guess in that regard it's nice uh, let's move on down the line here so you've got default applications display oh and I want to mention to to the uh, issue with display is once you set up your external monitor and you do a reboot and you come back in it defaults back to, in my case, the laptop monitor. I have not found a way to resolve that. You can merge the two monitors, uh, but I also have not found a way to turn off one of the monitors and just use external. So I wanted to uh, make you aware of that. Uh, let's move on down here to network. So you've got a quick toggle for wireless network card. Uh, you can also get a list, a complete list here of networks available. Uh, with Bluetooth you've got a toggle there and if you turn off Bluetooth it will stay off now here's where I like things quite a bit uh, you've got all of your sound settings right here readily available so you have output volume left right balance input feedback is showing up right here you'll see as I speak and then if you go into advanced you're gonna see everything hardware wise uh, to do with output and input so it's all right there for you uh, you can toggle sound effects on or off. Also, there used to be a bug in 15.3 where the time zone didn't show up properly or it wouldn't really let you change it. Uh, that seems to have been resolved, so uh, time zone is exactly what it should be. Power management here, so with sliders you can adjust that. And then I really like the mouse and trackpad controls here because it's kind of a complete list. Uh, left hand, right hand mode, natural scrolling, double click speed, and this is kind of cute. <laughs> it's a little animation there. thought that was a nice little addition. Pointer speed, touchpad, keyboard and language. So you've got keyboard layout, system language, and shortcuts. And you'll notice here at the bottom you can add your own custom shortcuts. So overall, um, you know, visually changed. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on under the hood yet. I'm going to have to read into that, but I just... Soon as I saw this, I immediately wanted to share this uh, with you so that if you're interested in Deepin or maybe you're running Deepin 15.3, 
you'd have an idea of what Deepin 15.4 looks like. Now again, I can't find really any changes anywhere else. Um, file manager, the menu launcher, and everything seems to be the same. So I'll have to dig into it a little more. I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and we will check you later.